folks, I am the Bitter Clinger, and today I want to talk about Aslane's mod pack for World of Tanks. Commodore Crunk from the World of Tanks forums asked me what version of XVM I'm using. Well, I use the latest version, but I'm sure what he really meant was how do I get my screen to look the way it does in battle? The answer to that question is Aslane's mod pack. Now, before I get any further into this, I do want to make you aware that game mods do have their downsides. Some mods can lower your frame rate or FPS in battle. Also, whenever Wargaming releases an update to World of Tanks, a lot of mods will become unstable for a few days. And I'm not only talking about the existing version you had on your system before the Wargaming update. Uh, you could have two or three days after a major World of Tanks update where you continually have to update your mods or even temporarily disable a specific mod until the bugs get worked out. That's where Aslane's mod pack comes in handy. It includes XVM along with all of the most popular mods for World of Tanks and rather than you having to re-download and manually update every mod each time there's an update to World of Tanks, you just get the latest version of Aslane's mod pack and rerun the installer. So let's go ahead and do that now. The steps I'm about to show you will work whether you're new to World of Tank mods or you're an old mod pro looking for an easier way to manage your mods. First, we go to the aslane.com site and click on the link for the latest World of Tanks mod pack installer. Of course, like all of these sites, this mod pack installer is hosted by a third party provider that uses ad traps and clickbait to help pay for the bandwidth. But have no fear, Bitterclinger is here to help you get through it. When you first click this server link, you'll be taken to an ad page like this. Do not click on anything on this page. You don't need download managers or anything else like that. Just wait for the timer to count down, then click on this skip ad button that appears in the upper right corner of the page. We are now at the real download page for Aslane's mod pack installer. Now the truth is you could do a lot worse than Mega when it comes to cloud based storage. They're pretty good, but you don't need any of that. Just click the download link and let it work. Now, you can avoid that interim ad page by clicking this direct link right here. But we all know how this works, folks. Aslane has to pay for the bandwidth cost used by all the users downloading the mod pack. Then there's the time it takes to keep the mod pack up to date and working properly. The interim ad pages help cover some of those costs, but if you find yourself using Aslane's mod pack and the direct link to download it, then I encourage you to click the donate button and shoot Aslane a few bucks. Alright, here we've run into a problem. Google is trying to help us by not letting us install the software we've just worked so hard to obtain. And just for the record, Internet Explorer will likely show you something similar. For IE, you just click the More Info link and then click the Run Anyway button. Uh, for Google Chrome, we just go over here and click the Show All Downloads button. Then we click on this Give Me My File Back link, followed by a click on the Yes, I Know What I'm Doing button. Alright, finally, we can start installing some mods. We click yes on this message box unless you've turned them off, in which case you won't see this. Select your language, OK. Here we are, next. Now this actually contains some good information, and I recommend giving it a read when you have a chance. It's not at all like most license agreements we skip through where we sign away any rights to the software we just purchased and agree to permit the publisher to lease our own hard drive space back to us at a price of their choosing. No, this is actually very informative and interesting stuff. Clicking next will bring us the change log. 
um, where you can get information on the latest changes to your favorite mods or features. Okay, let's click next and get the installation going. Here is where we start configuring some of the features for Aslane's mod and selecting other mods we'd like to install for World of Tanks. Now, one of the great features of Aslane's installer is this preview panel available under this show descriptions button. This allows you to select a feature and click the preview button to see how it will look in the game. Uh, for example, I can check out some of these mods to the medium player panel, like hit points. Uh, that could come in handy. Uh, how many times have you thought, oh great, it's me and another heavy tank to deal with this enemy? Only to find out that other heavy tank has 10 hit points left. The great thing about Aslane's installer is it makes experimenting with different mods and configurations and DLC relatively painless. At last, we come to the type of installation we want the installer to perform. Now I always select the clean install option. Now, that seems to be the safest way to update all the mods and it's not like your settings are going to get wiped out each time you run the installer. Aslane stores all your selected options in this INF file on your desktop. Now I wish the file were stored somewhere else because I'm particular about the icons on my desktop, but it's nice that the installer remembers the options I selected previously. That makes rerunning clean installs a no-brainer. Well, that's it for Aslane's Mod Pack installer. The hardest part will be choosing which great mods to select because it comes with a lot of mods, ranging from crosshairs to tank carousels in the garage. Well, we made it through all of that, but we're not quite done yet. If you're new to XVM or you haven't used it in a year or two and are just getting back to it, uh, things are a bit different. There is another step we need to do to get things working correctly. We gotta head on over to XVMmod.com and sign in with your Wargaming account information. Now don't worry, it is secure. Uh, it'll redirect you back to the Wargaming site to log in with your credentials. Uh, in fact, sometimes after signing in on the Wargaming portal, it won't redirect you back to the XVM mod site, so you've got to go back there manually, sign in again on the XVM mod site, and but this time it will recognize your WG authorization. Now, I currently have my statistics service activated, so I only have an option to prolong my current activation. You'll probably have an option to activate statistics or activate services, I can't remember which it's called, but uh, you should click on that if you want features like player stats or chance to win working in the game. Now if you only use XVM for the minimap and cap timer enhancements and you don't care to see the stats and you'll never want to see the chance to win, then you'll never need to activate these statistics. And more about statistics and chance to win, uh, this is configured on this setting option right here. Uh, this is where you can turn them on or off in certain places, and you can also select where you want to see the chance to win indicator. Uh, I have mine available all the time now, but when I was doing the first 4,000 battles of my chance to win analysis, I chose to have it show me the chance to win only after the battle was over on the results screen. Uh, so you can set these options to your liking. Well, Commodore Crunk, I hope this answers your question. <laughs> uh, that's it for me, folks. I hope you found this video informative. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this one, then click the like button on this video, or let me know in the comments, and I'll continue cranking them out. Uh, until next time, this is Bitter Klinger, signing out.